WordPress contains a series of built-in post formats, as they're called, and they're showing up here under the format box. Now, keep in mind, this format box will only appear if a theme is using post formats. You don't have to use them. In this case, it's using two, a side and gallery. Standard basically means there is no format. Now, the idea behind these formats is that there's kind of a series of standardized types of posts on websites and blogs. These are the nine right here that WordPress has devised. And they don't have to appear in any particular way, but they're meant to be a type. So, for example, you wouldn't use the format gallery to display videos, let's say, or links. It's meant for a gallery of images. If there's a link, then you use link. If it's meant to be just a single link to another site, then you would use the link format. Single image, a quotation, very obvious what you're doing there. Again, this is based on what the primary content is of the post. And the idea is that you can choose these post formats and create a special look based on them. So let's see how that'll work. Here's our post, and let's see what it looks like right now. We scroll down here. This is our home page displaying our most recent posts. Okay, so there's Montego Bay Weekend, and it's showing some text and then the gallery of images. All right, let's switch it now, and let's turn it into a gallery format. So we update that, and we go back over to here. And then when we refresh this, here's what it looks like. Here's the format. Again, this is the particular format that the 2010 theme in WordPress has created for gallery. You could do it any other way you want. It just says this gallery contains seven photos, and it grabs the first item in the gallery, and then gives you your continue reading button. So that's a way you can use post formats to give a different look to different types of posts. And then that way, your theme can create its own look for each type.